Mr. Aaron I'm here. We're going to go over how to do some limiting reaction problems here. So here's the first one we're going to do today. We're going to do one with the uh, nitrogen plus uh, hydrogen mixed ammonia, which is the corn hybrid process here. So 48 liters of hydrogen gas are reacted with 15 grams of nitrogen gas in a synthesis reaction that produces NH3. So we know hydrogen gas is H2. We know nitrogen gas is N2 and this produces NH3. Then you have to balance the reaction here. You're gonna put a two here and a three here. Now we are starting off with 48 liters of uh, hydrogen gas. And we are starting off with 15, 15 grams of nitrogen. And we are trying to find the liters of NH3. So what you have to do here is you have to go down to moles, over to moles, if you're doing your mole mapping up to liters. But then you also have to take this one down to moles, and then go over to moles, and then up to liters, okay? Because you have to do two stored geometries on this because it's a limiting reagent problem. So here we're going to start off with 48.0 liters of H2. Step one, use the tape. Liters on the top, liters on the bottom. What am I gonna convert to? Moles. Since we're at STP, we're gonna use 22.5 for liters, and we're gonna use one mole here. This is moles of hydrogen. Remember the goal here is to figure out how many liters of NH3 there are, okay? Step two is you have to do your wham, wham, wham step here. Moles on the top moles on the bottom. What are you going to convert to? Moles. That don't make sense. You gotta look at the substances. H2 here, H2 there. What are we going to convert to? And H3. Wham, 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 wham. Two. Wham, 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 wham. Three. And then the final step, we have to do another tape step. Moles on the top, moles on the bottom. What are you going to convert to? Leaders. Swiss, swish, 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 swish. It's been a while since I did some swish, swishy. Since this is a tape, this is one mole, and this is liters, and we're doing gas, so this is 22.4 liters. You calculate that out, and you get 32 liters of NH3. Unfortunately, we're not done yet. We also have to take 15 grams of nitrogen gas and convert it over to liters of NH3. Grams on the top. Grams on the bottom. What are you going to convert to moles? What does the tape say? One mole. Molar mass of nitrogen, 28.02. Step two, got to do a wham, wham, wham step here. So this is nitrogen here. So this is moles of nitrogen here. And this is moles of NH3 here. Because to be able to compare stuff, they have to be in the same units. Now this time we're going to do wham, 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 wham. One, wham, 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 two. Okay. And then we got to do moles on the top, moles on the bottom. What are we going to convert to? Liters. 22.4. One more. And we convert this answer and we get 24.0 liters. So. We actually made this because 24 is the lower number out of 32. This didn't happen because it is the higher number. Because once this reaction reaches 24 liters, the reaction stops because there is no more nitrogen to react. So what is the limiting reactant? Limiting. Notice it says reactant, so you have to pick something that's a reactant. Nitrogen. The excess is hydrogen. Okay. Now, how many liters of hydrogen will be used in this reaction? Remember, hydrogen is the excess here. So it did not all get used. So, okay. So 
well, this is how I do this here. We didn't make 32 liters. We only made 24 liters. So what I do here is I subtract these two numbers here. So it's 32 liters of NH3 minus 24.0 liters of NH3 equals 8 liters of NH3 that I didn't make. So, I'm going to take this 8 liters of NH3, and I'm going to convert it back to my excess reactant, which is hydrogen. Okay. Now, hydrogen was in liters to start, so I'm going to put this back into liters of hydrogen. Okay, here we go, liters on the top, liters on the bottom, moles here, one mole, 22.4, this is moles of NH3, moles on the top, moles on the bottom, what are we going to convert to, moles, NH3, H2, three of these and two of those, moles on the top, moles on the bottom, what are we going to convert to, liters, one mole, 22.4. And we get an answer of 12 liters. Okay. This is actually the excess reactant. Leftover. This is the leftover. Let's call it the leftover. Since we started off with 48 liters of H2, since we started with that, that means we used 36 liters of H2 because 48 minus 36 is 12. Okay? So when I get to the bottom here, I'm going to list 12 liters of hydrogen as left over in my vessel. Okay, how many grams of nitrogen will be used in the reaction? Well, the nitrogen, remember, is limiting. Which means that the leftover is going to be zero grams of nitrogen left over. Since we started with 15 grams of nitrogen, we must have used 15 grams of nitrogen because we have none left over. Okay. So list off theoretically what is in the container here. So we're back in the container here. That's my beaker. We have the reactants. We have zero grams of nitrogen because it was a limiting reagent and it got all used up. We have 12 liters of hydrogen left over. And in my products, remember I produced the lower number of these, which is 24 liters of NH3. In this reaction, the laboratory set in here at 22, we made 22.8 liters of ammonia gas and we're able to experiment and collect what is the percent yield of this reaction. Remember, percent yield is equal to experimental over theoretical times 100. Okay. And here we're doing ammonia here, so this is NH3. So we may. 22.8 liters of NH3. We were supposed to make 24 if everything went perfectly correct. Times 100. And you end up making 95.0% of 
is the reaction yield. Guys for champions. The legend is out.